but we're doing okay here. Let's refresh our Crimson Rod. Let's try a bit more of our Bloodbath. <gasps> Can I dash under him? No, Happy, why are you doing that silly stuff? How's going through? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our expert modded mage let's play. And guys, I'm so excited to get back into Raven's adventure today. We've got a lot to do, we've got a lot to explore, and Raven is just getting ready for her big Skeletron showdown. And I'm excited to make my way into that, and that is, I'm excited to make my way into the dungeon because a lot of you have been telling me in the comments that there is some really good magic weapons we can get, uh, but we just need to beat Skeletron first. Now, if you're Remember, part of Raven's story is that we're trying to power up the mysterious tablet that the old man is looking into at the moment. And we need to make a shrine at the dungeon for that. And I was thinking about some different designs for it. I'm like, mm, I've got a pretty good idea, but I'm going to need some obsidian for it. So you might have noticed, ooh, a heart statue, yes. You might have noticed in my uh, hotbar here, I have a ton of dynamite because we are going to blast our way through to the lava. So it is time for a dynamite montage, people. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, great montage, Happy. Just blowing yourself up with dynamite. But um, we did find the web stylus as I was making my way back down there. So that's kind of cool. And she's telling, I've been meaning to try some of these dice. Do any of you use them? Let me know in the comments. That would be really cool. So we're going to sell you some mud and some water leaf. That's great. And let's get back to our dynamite montage. We did it! We found lava! Oh my goodness, and a worm is attacking me. Get out of here, worm, you crazy thing. Oh my gosh, no, get out of here. Oh. Okay, so we found the lava, and we've got all of this water here, which is kind of cool, which means I can easily make lots of nice obsidian. I mean, I could make generators, but hey, it's a lot quicker just to do it this way. Oh, beautiful. Let's throw some bombs on that. Yes, I've run out of dynamite, unfortunately, but we still have bombs for days, so that's kind of cool. So it looks like we're going to get a nice nice supply of obsidian. It looks like my inventory is full up. Let's just get rid of all of that. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to collect this up and then we'll get to the dungeon because we need to do a little bit of crafting. Let's zoom ahead. I don't know, guys. I built a nice big base for the NPCs and they all hang out in this little hole down here. What is wrong with them? Oh my gosh. Sorry, squirrel. No, sorry, bunny. Oh no! So before we run off to the dungeon, I've got some of the crafting stuff ready to go, but I realize we need to upgrade some of our potions first. And the one thing I really want to upgrade is our mana potions. I'm still using these little 50 mana heal ones, and we can easily upgrade quite a few of them. I don't want to use... Oh, yeah! Let's just use them all. Why not? <laughs> it's easier. All right, I'll put that there for now. So we got that boosted up. Very nice indeed. I'll probably need some shine potions. And let's also just get the basic, the basic regen stuff you need for a boss fight. I've got plenty of healing, so there's no problem there. I don't think I need anything else for now. <gasps> Mana regen, yeah, I'll take one of them. Why not? Beautiful. The other thing I'm going to need for the design is... Whoa, I so love this base. It's so nice. Uh, the other thing we need to do is go to our sawmill uh, because part of the display I'm making is going to need some weapon racks. And then what we'll do is as we beat each boss, we'll put the boss trophy in its place. So guys, let's get to the dungeon and let's get started building.
Okay, guys, it looks like the old man is in trouble. We're going to have to save him. So let's get our buffs on. Let's talk to him. And let's defeat this evil spirit possessing him. So let's get this fight started in three, two, one. Boom. Let's do this, people. Oh, don't close. I'm close your infantry. Oh, look at the tiny hand it's got. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. So let's see. Okay, so we've got lots of different weapons to use during this battle. And I think a big thing that we can... Oh, no, 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 no. Get caught straight away, Happy. Oh, my gosh. So much damage. It's out of control. Control. Okay, we should be able to fly over him a little bit with our Spectre, are there Spectre Boots? Yeah, Spectre Boots. We should be able to fly over him a little bit with those, so that's going to help out very nicely indeed. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, he's about to spin. Goodness. Okay, so we have to try and damage the hands as evenly as possible, but that is going to be tricky because I am relying on the... Oh gosh, no! I don't want to get out of the dungeon. No! Let me back up there. Oh gosh. So to add a bit of challenge to this fight, I've only got one layer of platforms, and that makes it so much trickier because you can't just like grapple jump over his head uh, to quickly get, you know, to quickly avoid his spin. So it does make things a little bit trickier and I'm kind of looking forward to the challenge here. Um, it's all oh, goodness. No, don't take fall damage, Happy. What are you doing? It looks like we can also apply Icor uh, if we can land our plasma rod on him. So that's kind of cool indeed. Actually, let's try some of our blood bath, um, which is kind of cool. It's a bit like meteor stuff, which is very nice. Okay, here we go. He's coming for me. He's coming for me. Stay back. Stay back, Skeleton. Oh, goodness. Oh, okay, yep. Beautiful, we got the grapple off there. Very nice indeed, avoiding that full damage. All right, so it looks like one of the hands is taking a nice bit of damage. Yeah, okay, the bigger hand is taking more, but that's okay. Man, the real tough part of this fight is going to be once one of the hands is destroyed. Oh, goodness, did I just take full damage? Once one of those hands is down. Oh, no, 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 you know, like you're doing it okay, but like one mistake, and if that skull gets you, you're pretty much dead. So it can be a bit scary, <laughs> but we're doing okay here. Let's refresh our crimson rod. Let's try a bit more of our bloodbath. <gasps> can I dash under him? No, happy. Why are you doing that silly stuff? Oh, that was so dumb. No. <laughs> okay, how long have we healed? Oh, 53 seconds. Okay, that's just um, that's just great. And he's about to start shooting skulls as well. Nice one, happy. Nice one. Oh my goodness, that was the worst thing ever. Okay, uh, can I dash under? Him. Yep, okay, just got under him. We've almost got that second hand, so that's kind of... Oh, no, 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 no! Okay. Oh, goodness. This is out of control. No, leave me alone, Skeletron. Leave me alone. Okay, so now I think we've got both of the um, both of the hands down, so that means I can just focus on trying to do lots of nice damage, and my Plasma Rod can apply Icor, so that's going to help out quite a bit as well. Oh, gosh. Just leave me alone, Skulls. No. All right, how long off your heal? 13 seconds. All right, just don't get hit, Happy. Don't get hit. No, don't get hit. They do so much damage. Oh, my gosh. It's so scary. All right. Oh, no, no. Oh, I've only got 40 hit points. Three seconds off the heal, guys. Oh, no. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Beautiful. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. All right. Did I get a heal off? Yep. Okay. I've only got 100. Oh, I've only got any hit points. Oh, gosh. Okay, I need to get my uh, Crimson Rod back out. No, it's, oh, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do whatever. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Oh, okay, we jumped over him. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. All right, Shine Potion's back on. No, 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 no. Oh, man. Oh, oh, I think I've got spare Fallen Stars. I should have made more Mana Crystals, too. But uh, big surprise, guys. I forgot. <laughs> okay, throwing on some more Mana Potions. Beautiful. Those, are, those powered up ones are helping out quite a bit. We've got him under 3,000, guys. We might be okay. No, don't get hit by a skull. Oh, goodness. Oh, that was so close. Okay, here we go. Oh, goodness. I ran into Skeletron. Okay, there we go. Let's get some nice, uh, nice, uh, B guns. I was going to call it Wasp Gun. Okay, here we go. Goodness. Okay, he's coming for me. Jump over him. Okay, what's he down to? 1,500, guys. We can do this. We can do this. Got to avoid those skulls. Oh, man. Oh, this is intense. If you want to make this fight hard, guys, one layer of platforms. Oh my gosh, it makes it insane. Oh, oh, oh. oh goodness, he's getting low, he's getting low. We're so close. Oh, I've got a potion ready too. Uh, healing charge. So nice. He's down to 500. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We can do this. Throwing on everything. Ah, we're gonna beat him. You're going down. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. Oh, that was intense.
That was tough. <laughs> oh, yeah, take that, Skeletron. Oh, you're no match for Raven. Oh, goodness. So we've got our treasure bag, guys. And it said our granite and um, uh, marble biomes have changed. And I think there's a new boss in Thorium uh, in the marble biome. So that's going to be really cool. But it is time to open our treasure bag. Let's get this open in three, two, one. Boom. Ooh, bone glove. Okay, and we've got Skeletron hand. Okay, very nice. Indeed. That is cool. Now that we've beaten Skeletron, I can actually change the walls in the dungeon. You can't mine them up before you actually beat him. So I want to do this cool design that I've been planning for a while now. So we'll wait for morning and then let's do a little bit of a build. Construction complete, and I am quite happy with how this trophy room has turned out. And as we continue to beat bosses, I'm going to put their trophies in here to sort of represent powering up the mysterious tablet. And we've got an army of slimes that have come to say hi too. And as the adventure goes on, I kind of want to spread the dark sort of design outwards from the dungeon to sort of show the chaos spreading around. But now that we have beaten Skeletron, it is time to explore the dungeon. Now, I think I had a look in earlier adventure, but we died on the way. Oh no way, there's water bombs here. Oh no! <laughs> you mean I was so close to them? Oh, that's so crazy. Oh, well. Well, at least we got one on the way in. That's kind of nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, I really want to have a water bolt handy while we're exploring around in the dungeon. Yes, that's Dungeon Guardian. Nice one, nice one. So let's make our way in here, guys. And oh, looks like we've got a welcoming party here. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get some water bolts in on the action. Oh, I think those minotaurs do like this, this effect where you can't jump properly. So that is a bit scary indeed. Oh gosh, all right, throwing on another. Oh, that reminds me. I have to make some mana star thingies. Okay, we'll just kill this guy and then we'll get it. Okay, we've got the Minotaur Skull. Very nice indeed. Now, I've got some extra Fallen Stars, so let's get those made. Oh my gosh, I can make heaps of them. Okay, let's get that happening. Oh gosh, there's nothing worse than running out of mana. Oh, I've got more than enough. That's cool. And we've got the Minotaur Skull. I think that's more a summoning thing. And yes, I just ran into a Dart Trap. Always fun. So let's make our way in here. Now, I'm going to have to find some keys nice and fast because I want to get a Cobalt Shield as soon as possible. And finding the mechanic would be nice too. So hopefully we find her before we get too far in because otherwise she's likely to die before we can actually buy stuff off her. Alright, no, why is there so many dark traps? Oh my goodness! Okay, let's take out these guys. Our um, B gun is going to help out quite a bit down here. Alright, let's get that. Let's get rid of that little pressure plate. Beautiful. And let's continue exploring. Have I got any keys yet? Oh, I got the, um, oh goodness, don't grapple into that. I got the high tide. I think that's, yeah, that's going to be good. Let's replace our sea spray or storm spray or whatever. Um, I think this one's going to be a bit more accurate down here, and we're going to need the higher damage too. So, well, there's an Addis out to me. I don't know why I'm throwing um, a <laughs> glow stick at it. I don't think that's going to help. Oh, gosh. But I just want to keep exploring from now. And there is no mechanic. No. I have to save it. Quick, quick, quick. Think happy. Think. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Poor mechanic. All right. <laughs> I think what we should do is maybe quickly buy some wrenches and stuff on her in case she gets killed. So let's get... No, Addis, get out of here. Ah! No. Oh, goodness. No. No. Okay. No one panic. It's going to be fine. No. Oh, don't die, Sheena. Don't die. No, Sheena. Oh, oh Sheena. She was so young. And now there's a skeleton setting fire to everything. Get out of here. Give me that wrench. I'm going to treasure that forever. And Ooh. What's this sea spray? Oh, it's a magic weapon. Oh, no way. That's awesome. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, it's like making... No way. It looks like little ghost things are going everywhere. That is cool. Oh, no. That's so awesome. Oh, my goodness. Is it auto-fire? No, but it kind of like... 
I don't know, they just like hover about. I guess that's good for like interfering with enemies like trying to rush you and stuff. So that's kind of nice. But now I've got a few golden keys on the way back here. So I definitely want to open this chest as soon as these mobs get out of the way. Get out! Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, I just got another weapon, a bone reaper. That's kind of cool. Radiant damage. Whoa, that's like the uh, sky dragon stuff or whatever it's called. That's awesome. Okay, let's open this chest before I get overwhelmed. Oh goodness. This is out of control. All right, let's keep moving. Oh, I'll come back for that stuff later on. Oh, man, there's so much new stuff. This is awesome. Oh, goodness. Can I put a heal on? Yep, I can. Beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're going to water bolt through this. This is a little bit out of control. Oh, God, get out of here, crazy enemies. Okay, let's take out this guy. Beautiful high tide. It's kind of nice. Have I got room for it? Yeah, I can make some room. Why not? Okay, let's get that beautiful. Oh, gosh. I'm going to keep moving. <laughs> but guys, look at the time. We might wrap that up there for today. Don't you throw party at me. <laughs> oh, goodness. Might that wrap that up there for today, guys. But we'll do a lot more dungeon exploring in our next episode. Smash that like button if you're enjoying our Raven series. And, ooh, one thing I remembered. Seeing we found a Minotaur skull, a few of you have asked that can Raven use one summon. So I'll put a poll in this video and let me know. Do you want her to use one summon? like we did at the start of the story or do you want to make it she has to beat the wall of flesh or maybe she can use two after wall of flesh i don't even know but you let me know by voting in the poll guys subscribe if you want to see more stuff from me and whoop hang on we'll check out this first what's this an ancient shiv that's kind of cool all right let's see oh it's like an auto fire short short sword that's kind of cool wow i so like that oh my gosh i got so much stuff ah this is out of control <laughs> i'll sort it out in a moment but guys here's the most important but you'll stay happy and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days, signing out. See ya!